Then the Jackson movies came along and people thought doing new takes on Tolkien was a fool's errand when everybody loved those so much. But of course, there was another Tolkien adaptation, not of his writing, but of the man himself. Yeah, I bet some of you forgot this happened. I kind of did too, and I just watched it an hour ago. Tolkien is a 2019 biopic that was in the English language, but the director is from Finland, so that kind of ties it back to the previous adaptation I was talking about. Kinda. This movie has its moments. The actors are all good, and there are a couple of scenes that I actually really liked, but it's overall just standard schmaltzy biopic fare. And there's a reason that biopic is a genre that now has three, count them, three essential feature-length parody movies. I think part of the problem is that the things that most Tolkien readers really want to know about his life are things that are inherently uncinematic. Like, we want to learn about him actually crafting the legendarium. We want to learn about him getting the ideas, writing out, creating this world. And that would just be a guy either sitting at a desk or a guy just having conversations about, you know, I was thinking maybe spiders would be big. The ways this movie does tie in with the legendarium are having Tolkien basically hallucinate fantasy elements while he's on the battlefield which I get it as a device, but it's really reductive. Like everyone knows that Tolkien's time in the war definitely influenced his writing, but the manner and degree to which it influenced his writing is a subject of debate and has been basically since his books were published. And reducing it all to he saw a flamethrower and hallucinated a dragon really does a disservice to, well, everything. The parts I really like in this movie is when Tolkien is having conversations about language, his one true passion. I think that's nonsense. I mean, it is if you say it like that. A word isn't beautiful just because of its sound. Cellar door. It's the marriage it of sound and meaning. The door to the cellar. A place where something magical and mysterious might happen. Sorry, have, have you just dismissed the basis of my entire language? Your language isn't worth anything unless you remember this important fact. Oh, is that right? It is, yes. But those conversations really harp on the fact that words are beautiful because they have meanings. So when this movie ends with him inventing a word with no explanation for the meaning of that word... Now, to be clear, I think it would have been really bad if they had said, oh, he chose the name Hobbit because they reminded him of hobnobs. Like, if they had shoehorned in a fake meaning behind the syllables in the word Hobbit, that would have been bad too. It just sits in sharp contrast with everything else the film was saying about language. But yeah, this movie ends with Old Toller's about to start writing The Hobbit, so it's basically the Walt before Mickey of its time. You don't remember that movie happened either, did you? I'll talk about that another time. I get what they were going for with ending with him writing the famous opening line, but also that is inherently an uncinematic thing to happen because the phrase just popped into his head randomly, seemingly unmotivated by anything other than his own boredom, and that is not a satisfying conclusion to a movie. The film also, you know, takes liberties with Tolkien's life, as all biopics do, and the Tolkien estate put out a statement saying they did not participate in, nor do they endorse this movie, but, you know, they didn't really endorse Jackson's movies either, and everyone loves those, so that's not necessarily a sign of quality. But when you're talking about a man's life, it helps make it feel more authentic if you actually talk to the people who are caretaking that man's legacy. I think the only way to do a Tolkien biopic that would actually give Tolkien fans what they want, like get into his creative process and everything, would be to make it a movie about the Inklings. Have them meeting at the Burden Baby, have them discussing their processes, discussing their stories, developing their ideas, having them all together. And apparently there was a Tolkien and Lewis biopic that was in development, but it got scrapped before this one came out, so that one probably wouldn't have been great either, but it could have had more of the scenes that Tolkien fans want. But, you know, if you like biopics, this one is fine.